Hey there, and welcome to my Abzan deck deck. So what we have here is a Abzan company deck with Court of Calling, and it looks a lot like the traditional Spike Feeder Helia decks that have been running around, except there's a couple different twists. I'll get started by saying this deck has way more combos in it, which makes it a little bit more convoluted, but also means it can accidentally combo. Uh, for example, there's a video I already posted, which I can you can go turn one carrion feeder, turn two Safi Eric's daughter, turn three Renegade Rallier. Um, and what you can do there is use a revolt trigger in Safi Eric's daughter to make infinite sacrifice triggers for carrion feeder, and then swing with a 20 20 50 50 100 100, however many clicks you want to go through there, carrion feeder. And obviously, if you combine uh, Giver of Runes there, you can actually make potentially an unblockable carrying feeder, which would be pretty sweet. So there's that interaction. There's also Soul Warden in this deck, which if you do that same interaction with a Soul Warden in play, now you gain infinite life, because you have infinite enter the battlefield, uh, creatures entering the battlefield. We do have Spike Feeder and Heliod. Um, we also have Heliod, Kitchen Fanks, and Carrion Feeder, which makes you gain infinite life. If you have a Soul Warden in play when you do that, now you gain infinite life and have infinitely sized creatures. If you have Anafenza in play, also infinite life and infinitely sized creatures. Anafenza, Carrion Feeder, and Kitchen Finks also is able to do that same loop, provided you do the targets correctly. We also have Spike Feeder and Archangel of Thune, which makes infinite life and infinitely sized creatures. Um, we also have Walking Ballista and Heliod, which generates infinite life and infinite ping targets. Now that is a lot of little combos to manage through, but traditionally this deck is just trying to get ahead on mana and drop a collected company and then Court of Calling for whatever combo piece is missing. Ranger Captain finds Soul Warden, Giver, Carrying Feeder, Bird, and Walking Ballista. All super relevant targets. Um, Spike Feeder, uh, you know, so Eternal Witness can actually do a bunch of different things, including just generate free cord triggers. So the deck in and of itself is more mid-range style. It's definitely focused on gaining infinite life to stall. And if infinite life matters, sometimes infinite life can be the win condition. But as, as we'll see in the league, not everybody concedes to infinite life, which um, they probably should, um, unless you're clicking super slow, but that is a whole nother moral dilemma. So you get infinite life, and then you once you have the infinite life, you can give buy yourself some time to then find the last piece you need to try to get infinite sized creatures as well. Or just get enough mana and play to eligually kill your opponent with a walking bullet to Heliod combo. The sideboard has some super silver silver bullets. Super silver bullets. Say that a few times fast. We have Shalai, which is just very good against decks that are targeting you. We have Remorseful Cleric as a graveyard hate, which is very, very good if we're going to try to beat faster combo than us, like Storm. Um, to generate a board presence against, or to stop generating a, a dredge from generating a board presence. It also is actually decent in the mirror, if you're expecting like Kitchen Finks, because you can exile the Kitchen Finks with the Persist trigger on the stack. We have Oriok Champion, which is also a combo piece, um, because it kind of does the same thing Soul Warden does, just it would be main board, but it's not fetchable by Ranger Captain, so it's a little bit more awkward, but that protection from black and red is very relevant right now. We have Linvala, which completely shuts down uh, opposing combo creature combo decks. We have Magus of the Moon, which is our anti-big mana hate. Also gets a random other things. Even Mind Sensor, again, big mana and other combo decks. Mirror and Crusaders are our value engine. We're going to go a little bit more mid-range, which work really well with Heliod, these two together, because you give Mirror and Crusader lifelink, it triggers off of the first strike from the double strike. You can put the plus one, plus one counter on him, and now all of a sudden he's dealing five damage when your opponent might have only expected four. A cute little interaction there. And then we just have a bunch of um, removal spells and Veils of Summer. So the, that's the deck tech. Uh, generally what we're looking to do is utilize that Court of Calling to get that last piece and utilize Collected Company to just puke out a bunch of three drops onto the battlefield. 
Uh, I am looking to squeeze a 20 second land in here. I think it could be somewhat necessary. I am running Wall of Roots, which I'm actually pretty pretty stoked about. Um, just being a really good Court of Calling trigger, being able to generate two mana for core to help us get this Archangel out, while also just being a good mana dork, uh, just in and of itself. So, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what you think, or if you have any suggestions. Thank you.